Hello, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves. And uh, the shed workshop is getting a concrete floor. Yes, sir, today we're pouring the concrete. We've already had one truck coming through, and I just wanted to get a video of the second truck coming through. I think we're going to have, uh, I think it's going to take about three trucks, maybe more, but I'm hoping only three. But this guy was trying to back into the driveway. And it's like, uh, no, it's it's about a quarter of a mile back. You don't want to back up through this driveway. So he turned around and drove it up through. They say uh, cement trucks weigh about 84,000 pounds loaded with cement. Uh, I was thinking it wasn't about that heavy, but evidently they are. And... Uh, I was trying to tell them, well, we had, when they were hauling wood out of here, they had they were hovering around 100 ton. And if they're at 84 ton, um, they actually got more weight per tire. You count the tires, tractor trailer, and, and the trailer versus just the cement truck. They've got an extra set of four wheels, or two axles. I guess eight wheels for the uh, wood. So these guys are pretty heavy, but you can tell... Um, no problem on the uh, culvert pipe. That's that's fine. I've got about 170 ton of crushed stone in this driveway. It may not look it, but it is it is there. And uh, sorry for the shakiness of the video here. But I, I put the base down and spread it all out. Once we get the house done. Um, I'll have the guy come back in and oh lordy lordy we'll probably put another 50 60 ton of stone on here and get this nicely crowned and so we can drive the cars I mean I've drove the car back here but I certainly don't want to bring my uh, sports cars back through here it's a little rough I could do it but it isn't necessary so why do it uh, we're coming up to the landing where the house is going to be this used to be where the greenhouse was um, but we're walking, you're going to be walking straight, as you're walking right straight ahead is where the house is going to be. I'll stop here for a second so you can see. Um, we're going to have to probably take, uh, they're saying the first line of trees there out because we're pushing the house back. Um, I want it over 500 feet from the road so I don't legally have to hook up to the city water and, uh, and here's my landing. Um, anybody who doesn't know what that is, that's a bat house. Uh, we've seen bats here. We're trying to get bats to stay here, help keep the uh, insect population down. So we'll see what happens, but uh, anyhow, I'm going to see if I can pause this and start it back up. Oh, you know what? I don't think that's going to work on this device. This is a new one. I usually use my cell phone, but. Uh, my cell phone battery is dead, so I'm trying to use my iPad, but we'll see where I can get back to the shed where they're building the concrete, or I'll try blocking and cut this out. I should be able to edit it. As I'm walking, you can start seeing, there's the greenhouse roof. Trying to make it look like a park. It's a lot of work. Forces are uh, very time consuming. Every time you look, there's a tree down or a big branch falling. You're constantly cleaning up wood. That's why you want to have something that burns wood for some type of uh, efficiency. Heat, energy, something. I'm actually thinking of creating a steam generator and using the wood. To, uh, boil the boil the water to create the steam to create electricity here um, I may use that for back here in the wood shop sled area just because uh, it's about 1200 and it's 1400 feet to the end of that driveway so I don't think I really want to run power all the way back here so 
I'm going to need something in my workshop to power. I might use some solar. Um, I do have a 110, 220 um, generator I can use, but this is uh, this is where the work shed, workshop shed. I have to call it shed for the county reasons. Um, can't call it a workshop. It can only store equipment, but quite frankly, we're going to be using it right to work. So here we go. So they've uh, poured the footer all in, so we're getting ready to actually pour the floor. It's supposed to be uh, 3,500 psi. They put the rebar in. Um, they added um, rebar. You can see it standing over there, standing straight up there. Is my uh, a lightning rod set up. But frankly, it's a metal building, so we're going to want a lightning rod in there anyway. Um, but that's it for the floor. I'll get you some uh, pictures or video of the floor when it's all said and done. Thank you. Hit the like button if you like, and hit subscribe if you like to get notice of new videos. Thank you again. This is Keith. Down over there.